Now we are discussing about the heat transfer. We know that the heat energy always transfers from hot body to cool body. Hot body means which is at high temperature, cool body means relatively at low temperature. The relative case between the two bodies is very very important. So what we can say in this heat transfer is there are three different types of heat transfer. First one is conduction. Second one is convection. Third one is radiation. These three are the different titles to be given for the different types of heat transfer. But what we can observe in these three different types of heat transfer. If you see the first one, nothing but the conduction. The concepts phenomenon is like this. Take some flame. Mostly in the winter days, in the early morning, mostly in the villages, the all people will around a flame to get warm the body. So if this is the flame, the flame is not at all touching the human body. It was placed at some distance, some finite distance. The heat which is exhausted from this flame is gained by the human body, then the body will get warm like this. To understand this concept again, we will place a hot body or a cool body, extremely cool body when compared to the temperature of the flame. Nothing but a conducting medium or a metal rod. Whenever the metal rod is placed here, the ability to gain the temperature is very less. Means it will be heated, but for a small rise in temperature, that metal rod will take a lot of time. Whenever this metal rod is very close to the flame, nothing but the source of the heat, it will easily heat it and through this the heat will transfer. Actually the flame and the receiver, nothing but the source and the receiver not at all in touch. They are separated by a finite distance. There is no bodily movement of the particles from source to the receiver. Still the heat is transferring from one space to the another space. This process is called conduction. That means the ability to, to transfer the heat energy from hot body to cool body without the moment of or without the bodily moment of particles the particles present in the medium. This is called conduction or conduction of heat. The examples, the hot iron rod which is placed near to the flame or the heat which is transferred from the pipes, the top end of the pipe to the lower end. These are all the examples of the conduction. But in the process of conduction, the metal rod what we are taking as a receiver, it should have thermal conductivity. If its thermal conductivity is less, the rate of conduction will be less. So what is this thermal conductivity? How it will be defined? We are going to discuss now. The next point which we should discuss is temperature gradient. This temperature gradient is related to the thermal conductivity. Let us take a hot iron rod or any metal rod of finite dimensions. This point A, this is point B. Once it is in a room temperature, then this point A 
was focused to some heat maybe a flame or anything automatically the temperature at point a of the metal rod will increase initially the temperature at point a is theta 1 the temperature at point b is theta 2 of the rod once the temperature was supplied at point a this theta 1 will increase to theta 2 whenever the temperature increases to theta 2 the nature of the temperature or the nature of the heat energy is it is able to flow from hot to cold places relatively point b is at less temperature or lower temperature than point a that's why the temperature or the heat energy will flow to the point b of the metal rod so here one temperature here one temperature these two temperatures are separated by a distance let us say x because the distance between the points of a and b is equal to the length of the rod so the change in the temperature per unit length is called temperature gradient the change in temperature of a body per its unit length is called temperature gradient it is represented as theta 2 minus theta 1 by x nothing but d theta by dx let us take the area of the conductor is capital a so we know that the heat energy flowing through one second or flowing through the rod per unit second is equal to temperature gradient therefore q by t is proportional to a into theta 2 minus theta 1 by d where q is heat energy where a is area of conductor theta 1 comma theta 2 are temperatures d is the length of conductor t is time so area into temperature gradient is equal to q by t so if i removed the proportionality constant i should replace it with any other constant that is ka into theta 2 minus theta 1 by t where k is called thermal conductivity the equation part for the thermal conductivity is k is equal to qd by a into theta 2 minus theta 1 into t this is the expression for the thermal conductivity now we will see the definition of thermal conductivity by substituting some minimum values in the equation therefore k is equal to qd by a into theta 2 minus theta 1 into t let us write d is equal to 1 meter nothing but the length of the conductor is 1 meter area of the conductor is 1 meter square temperature difference between the ends is 1 kelvin because it is also si unit 
time taken for this change is one second. If we substitute all these ones in this equation, we will get k is equal to q. So, what is the definition of the k from this uh, uh, expression? We can say that thermal conductivity is nothing but the heat flowing through a conductor normally per unit surface area in one second per unit rise in temperature 1 Kelvin of length 1 meter of the conductor. Thermal conductivity is equal to heat energy passing or flowing normally through a conductor in one second through one unit area of cross section for the temperature difference of 1 Kelvin. through unit area of cross section per unit rise in temperature. So, what is the unit of this thermal conductivity? K is equal to Heat energy is joules, D is meters, area is meter square, change in temperature is Kelvin, so T is seconds, joule, Kelvin inverse, second inverse. It is the SI unit of thermal conductivity. What is the dimensional formula of thermal conductivity? The joule is m l square t power minus 2. Kelvin is nothing but the temperature therefore k minus 1 t minus 1. So, m l square t power minus 1 k power minus 1. This is the dimensional formula of the thermal conductivity. It has one dimension of mass, two dimensions of length, minus one dimensions of time, minus one dimensions of temperature. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.